what's new in this new version of Flux. I will see that we have a new tool for 3D rotating machines in Flux. I will see some new improvements and new features in the 3D model. I will see some interesting things in uh, to, to get faster and get more accurate results, some physical model and so on, some distribution. And we'll see some new things about multi-physics coupling. The third new feature is uh, to go faster and how to do this, uh, as you can see on this picture, is thanks to the distribution. So you might know that before, uh, distribution of computation was available through Gautit, which means you could run all the computation for the optimization uh, with the distribution, so it could, do, it could go faster. And now, thanks to the Flux 12.1, you will be able to uh, distribute all of parametric calculations directly in Flux. Uh, so I will show you how easy, easy it is to configure, to use. Uh, we made a lot of work on making this uh, job management more robust so that there's no error inside the, the distribution of uh, computation. And of course, you will benefit from fast results uh, in uh, every parametric project. So what is important for you is that uh, we use the same tokens as Gotit CDE. So if you have already bought some uh, tokens from uh, for Gotit and CDE, these are the same tokens that can uh, provide you some uh, speed up for the parametric analysis. And if you are if you didn't have any uh, distribution tokens, uh, you will get some free evaluation when updating your license to Flux 12.1, which means when you are update your license. Directly in Flux, you will be able to test the parametric distribution of, of computation. So it's very important that you take advantage of all the available computing power of your machine. So I can show you very quickly. It's very easy to configure. Uh, from the supervisor, you have the distribution manager, and you have almost like one button in the distribution manager to click configure, then you choose if you want to configure a single local node or multiple nodes. And if it's a single local node, you are almost only to click OK. And uh, then you are using your own res uh, machine resources. Or then you can uh, define some uh, a shared folder for different nodes and uh, use it very easily with some uh, other computers. So I will show you uh, just uh, at the end how it uh, is easy to configure. But you, might, you must know that uh, by default, without doing anything, just installing the new version of Flux, there will be already a configuration on a single local node, which means it's on your machine uh, to uh, configure the, the distribution. So without doing anything, you have already a configuration for distribution. It's very easy to use. So when you are doing a parametric study, you are uh, editing the scenario, and in the scenario, you just have to click to click here on distributed computing, and then from this, you this flux will distribute the the computation. And during the distribution, you can follow uh, the distribution process uh, directly in flux. So this is the solving window. You can see we have some running jobs, for example, or finished job, and you have an evaluation of the remaining time. Uh, and in the meantime, you, you can also uh, check the distribution of the jobs uh, directly inside the Cedral Distribution Manager. So you can see here all the jobs running. And uh, this is the big button to configure uh, all the, the distribution parameters. So you can see it seems very easy. It's very uh, fast. And you can see from some example the, the time that you can reduce your computation. So for example, if you look at this 3D switch reactance motor, uh, it's here you have the time of computation for a big parametric analysis. And here you have the number of cores used. And you can see that only using some cores, like for example, using uh, six cores, you can reduce the time of computation by three. So maybe only staying in your machine, you can uh, reduce the time of computation a lot. And then also on this 2D induction machine, you can see as well, uh, the acceleration uh, thanks to uh, the distribution of computation. So also a big parametric analysis, and you can reduce the time of computation in this case by three using only four cores. So which means you only have to work on your machine without using a very big machine and uh, 
But all, of course, if you use a big machine, you will have a very uh, big reduction of time of computation. We hope that this new feature will help you uh, going faster into all of your parametric studies and help you a lot. And you can try it for free uh, when you will update your license. So this is very important. So now more about uh, getting more accurate results. Uh, I can present you a first feature, which is the 3D adaptive solving. Before, uh, we had already 2D adaptive solving in um, uh, static and in uh, steady state applications. Now, we are able to do the 3D adaptive solving in 3D magnetostatics and electrostatics. What does it mean? It means that uh, when you solve your project, you can uh, let flux find the mesh on the parts that need to be refined. So for example, here you have an actuator with a magnet in pink. And after the solving, uh, Flux will show you the, the mesh it used and it was a refined mesh here on the magnet to be sure that the results are correct. So this is based on the error criterion in the mesh, which is already uh, available in all the applications. This will help you going further and going quicker if you're not an expert in the meshing and if it uh, could just save you some time instead of uh, trying to mesh yourself for the, the project. So here you can see on another example, this is a very bad mesh at the beginning. And after only one refining iteration, you can obtain this kind of mesh, which is uh, thin enough here in this part to be uh, correct. And here you can see that it has not refined the mesh. So it will uh, refine mainly where the, the physics is happening inside the device. Uh, also, if you remember uh, last year, Flux 12 uh, new version, uh, we have implemented a new hysteresis uh, model. So still, this hysteresis model is uh, something new for us because we, are, we have now more experience in this and we have some more examples. So just to remember, it's a static model. And uh, this year, we added a new tool uh, with this model to evaluate Jill's Atherton parameters value which means that now you have access to a uh, hysteresis material and to use this kind of material you need the coefficients and to obtain these coefficients we provide you a tool uh, here that can help you from the BH curve here to obtain the different coefficients to uh, be take into account all the hysteresis effects and mainly the Riemannian effects. So this can help you um, modeling some actuators and some transformers, for example, if you have an inverse current, for example, that might be very helpful to use the hysteresis model. And uh, of course, it will better evaluate all the, all the losses inside your devices. So this hysteresis model is now more uh, uh, robust than last year, and we, help, we, we hope that you will uh, enjoy it and uh, benefit from it accurately. Uh, also, concerning physics, we corrected a new method to evaluate the current density inside solid conductors. So, because before, when you had section changing or current direction changing, like in this kind of uh, conductors, it was not so very accurate. Before, you could have some accurate results, but you needed to mesh it very thinly. So now, with a normal mesh, without uh, doing something very, very strong, you can have uh, the very good results. It's a very good uh, innovation for all solid conductors users. We have a lot of macros, so around 150 macros, and we added some more macros of this year, some capacitance matrix computation, which can be useful uh, instead of going to solve a lot of electrostatic studies, some demagnetization in 3D, uh, doing some full other coils, like coils like this, which are already done in thanks to a macro, uh, you can create a 2D project from a 3D project uh, doing a cut. So if you choose a cut plane, you can create directly a 2D project from this. And on and on, we have some more macros coming on. We also added some examples from uh, SRM 2D, so synchronous relentless machine uh, inside the supervisor, a magnetization case, and so on. And we also updated all the tutorials using the sketcher and the modeler so that you can learn how to uh, do all these examples with the latest geometry tools. You will also uh, benefit from the latest Jiton update, which means that very soon, thanks to this update, uh, you will have NumPy and SciPy available as libraries 
for Python users. Also, that we have only Flux 62, 64 bits, and we also can support Windows 10. Now, to conclude about all of this uh, presentation of new features in Flux 12.1, you, you could see that we made some work for uh, making the modeler more robust and more efficient, and uh, you might enjoy uh, the import capabilities that are very higher than uh, before, so you can uh, trust them very, uh, very strongly. Uh, you will enjoy the fast and easy way to, to, to compute uh, distribution, to run adaptive solving computations, and uh, if you are motor designers, you will enjoy the overlays, which will be available for people already owning the overlays. It's not something new that you have to buy. If you are already the overlay in 2D, you have the overlay in 3D. And we had some more precise models for induction heating, for current in solid conductors, and what um, is very important also for all the machine designers is a value acoustic for ANSYS mechanical exports. So we hope that you will enjoy this flux of one as we do and uh, that you keep innovating in 3D uh, thanks to flux.